Should you hire a ghostwriter to work on your book or finish the pages yourself? Give me a few minutes and I'm going to help you find the right answer. Hi, my name is Matt and if you don't know me, I'm an experienced ghostwriter. Over the past 20 years, I've written almost 200 books, uh, thousands of articles, and I don't know how many speeches. Uh, as I mentioned in today's video, I'm going to give you three reasons you might decide to work with a professional ghostwriter instead of sitting down and taking your book from idea to execution page by page. Uh, if that's something you're interested in, let's jump in. So the first reason you might decide to work with a ghostwriter is the one that's obvious to most people, and that has to do with professionalism. Uh, a professional ghostwriter is a professional ghostwriter. It's going to be someone who works with words every day. Uh, chances are, unless you're one of the, the very few business people I talk to and work with, that person, a professional writer, is going to be a lot better at writing than you are. So, if you care about having the best possible book, uh, the best possible finished product, then it only makes sense to have a professional do the job. One analogy that I like here is that of hiring a plumber or an electrician. Um, there are a lot of little at-home projects you can do by yourself, but if you really want the thing done right and done safely, sometimes it makes sense to pay the extra money to have that person come in or the professional come in and do the job. Well, it's the same kind of thing with a ghostwriter. When you're getting ready to publish a book, you're not just taking your ideas and putting them out there, you're putting them in a form that can hang around for years or even decades. Uh, it's like a business card that no one ever throws away, which is a good thing and a bad thing. It's a good thing in the sense that books have tremendous marketing power, but it's a bad thing in the sense that if your book is underwhelming or if it doesn't make you seem like a competent professional, then that's something that can hang around for a long time too. So that's something you might want to consider if you aren't that strong at writing yourself or you don't have a lot of confidence in your ability to work with words. Uh, hiring a ghost writer can be a way to, to get that, that polished finished product you need and put your ideas in the most compelling way possible um, without having to spend years on the job. So speaking of spending years on the job, that brings us to point number two. Uh, a professional ghost writer is probably going to finish your book a lot faster than you would on your own. And this is one of those things that, again, can be a big deal to some entrepreneurs and coaches and speakers and not a big deal to others. I know that one of the things that people mention when they come to me is the idea that they like the idea that, that we're going to start working together in a month or two months or maybe in three months. They're going to have a finished book. It's going to be printed. It's going to be in their hands. They can show to people on Amazon. We're going to get from that starting point to the ending point in a relatively fast period of time. You contrast that with the fact that most business people who write their own books will take a many, many months and usually actually years to finish the job. There are a couple of reasons this happens. Uh, contrary to popular belief, it's not necessarily the case that a professional ghostwriter is going to work so much more quickly than you would. Uh, even after 20 years, it takes me a long time to write a book. It's just that I have that time to spend on the job. Uh, for me, when I'm working on a project, I might be here at my desk writing by, say, 6 in the morning. Uh, get up at 5, take an hour to wake up, start writing by 6, and have all the way till 10, 11, or even noon to work on the book that's in front of me. So if you think about that, that's 4 to 6 hours per day, 7 days a week, just going through pages and putting drafts together. Even if you were a fast writer, uh, the chances are you have a business to run or other things to pay attention to and you don't have that kind of time to sit in front of a keyboard and produce page after page after page. As a result, uh, the kind of work that I do will add up a lot more quickly than what the average person will come up with. And again, that's not to say, say that the average person writes slowly or that I write quickly. It's just that this is my full-time job. I have a lot of hours to devote to the project that other people might not. So. In that sense, hiring a ghostwriter gives you, gives you the time back that you wouldn't otherwise have. Um, I, I like to tell, tell clients, uh, truthfully, that I'm committing at a minimum to around 200, of hour, 200 hours of work when I take on a new book project. And that's me, having done this almost 200 times and knowing exactly how this process goes. So, so it's a minimum of 200 hours for me to put in to get a book from start to finish. For someone who doesn't know uh, the process of outlining and designing and revising and all of these things, that might take 500 hours. 
and most business owners don't have 500 hours to put in a project like this to get it done right. So if time is important to you, either, either saving the time you have or getting your book finished quickly, uh, then, then it might make sense for you to work with a ghostwriter. A third reason you might decide to work with a ghostwriter, and one that gets overlooked a lot, has to do with organization and just overall hassle. When I start a new book project, uh, the client's responsibility is essentially to be interviewed on the phone. They have to talk about their area of expertise while I ask questions. And that takes a little bit of time, but it's not, it's not anything they can't do easily. What they're spared by me asking these questions and guiding them through the book design process or the book writing and design process is having to worry about things like ISBN numbers, book blurbs, keywords, uh, book descriptions and sales descriptions, uh, about the author pages, photos, cropping, letting, font sizes, book trim sizes, uh, paper colors, and a million other things that I'm probably forgetting about right now. The point is I know when to bring these things up, how to manage them, um, at what point they matter, and who to find for answers if we need them. Uh, and that kind of stops any of these little details from becoming a bottleneck that would otherwise maybe sink the process or, or slow things down a great deal. A lot of entrepreneurs or coaches or, or self-employed professionals, when going through this on their own, will find these little details to be overwhelming. It's hard enough to actually to, to start writing a book and outlining it and editing it and trying to decide what goes there. When you start adding these sorts of little factors and decisions on top, it, it can just be too much for them. And in that way, it can slow the book down weeks or months further. Um, and again, it's not that you can't manage these things on your own. It's just if you want to concentrate on getting the best book possible without having to know everything there is about book production, um, it can make a lot of sense to work with a ghostwriter who knows this terrain and can guide you through all the little steps and decisions that have to come in along the way. So those are three of the reasons you might consider working with a ghostwriter. If you have more questions about this process uh, or want to know more about my work, you can certainly check out my website at ghostwritermat.com or feel free to leave a comment below. Let me know what's on your mind and I'll see if I can address your question in a future video. Otherwise, I hope you found it helpful and thanks for watching.